Hey, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? This your boy, Raw Thomas Jr., and this is the real news behind the news. Oh, yeah, man. It's, it's almost 1 o'clock in the morning, which would be, uh, I guess you could say, uh, April 11, 2019. And, man, let me bring y'all up to speed on the events that has happened here in Shreveport, Louisiana, because it, as I do this video, I'm uploading it to YouTube for the first time in YouTube for all my subscribers. Hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I apologize for not, uh, you know, uploading in a while. I've been kind of busy trying to take care of financial uh, obligations, you know, trying to build my business up. But um, um, I'm streaming this live. I'm going to upload it live to Facebook and YouTube simultaneously. But here's Freeport. If you click in the link on YouTube and if you click in the link on Facebook, you're going to see a video that's very, uh, <laughs> very real. Here in the last 24 hours, we've had a high-speed chase to end up where the suspect in that chase uh, basically got gunned down by the police. Now, we have to ask ourselves as, as, as people, what part did he play in his death? Because in this situation here, from what we're seeing, and if you look at the video, it's point blank right there in your face. This dude, I mean, pulled up and shot at the police, and he got dealt with. Now... I'm asking the people of Shreveport, please, let's not get this situation here that happened in the last 24 hours, um, which was pretty much, it's going to be rude justifiable because he shot at the police. Let's not get that confused with Anthony Child's situation. Until we see that video in the Anthony Child's situation, we still got to be skeptical of the police. Now, in this situation here, there's, it's cut and dry because you had a citizen right there recording at the moment where this boy pulled up off the interstate right there on Juella and shot at them police and them police opened up. You know, I rest in peace, uh, rest easy, young brother, whatever, but you played a deadly game with the wrong people. Now, again, I beg the people here locally in Shreveport, please do not get what happened yesterday, April 10th, 2019, confused with what happened February 5th, 2019, when Anthony Childs was shot by a Shreveport police officer. Remember, in that case there, the DA has told us that he's not even investigated because it was alleged suicide. What makes this case with Anthony Childs so different? They're telling us again that Anthony Childs was running and pulled a gun and shot himself in the chest. And from that point on, a Shreveport police officer proceeded to put three more bullets in him after he fired eight times at a fleeing suspect who had already shot himself, allegedly, according to the coroner here at Cattle Parish, allegedly shot himself in the chest, killed himself, and the police convinced to put three more bullets in him. Again, let's not get that confused with what happened today because I know that boy got hit at least 15 Man, you talking about you had about eight police. And if you look at this video before they take it down, because the video is disturbing, but this is compelling evidence to let us know again that this situation here is different than the Anthony Child situation until we see actual video of the Anthony Child situation. It's two totally different things. The police responded in a manner where they really didn't have a choice. That dude put himself in a bad spot, y'all, and he got dealt with. And he's no longer here with us to tell his side of the story. We don't know what was going on in his mind, but allegedly he had to... Um, well, I was listening to the police scanner when they say he fired at some chick and she ducked. So we know he was involved in some crazy stuff even before he got into this high-speed chase. And maybe he committed suicide by shooting at them police. But they sure gave him what he asked for. And we hate to hear that, but in this situation here, we at the real new behind new. When the police are right, we, we, we stand by them. We stick by the blue when they right, but at the same time, when they wrong, we got to hold them accountable. And again, these are two different situations. Anthony Child's situation is a whole lot different until we see some video proof where it is Anthony Child deserved to get shot four times. One killing himself, uh, from what they're telling us. And then three more shots to make sure that he was dead from a Shreveport police officer. Whereas this young man let these folks 
after alleged armed robbery, shooting, and waving a gun at the police, he stopped right there on Greenwood and Juella, and he met his end because he shot at them police. So again, uh, to my YouTube subscribers, man, again, I apologize. I ain't been up in about a month. I thank y'all for still, you know, sticking by me. I see my numbers going back up. We know how YouTube be doing my channel because I speak on a lot of real issues. But, um, yeah, I thank y'all for y'all support for Facebook, here locally in Shreveport. Let's not forget Anthony Child. And we have to understand what happened yesterday. You make bad decisions, you're going to suffer consequences. And that boy made bad decision after bad decision after bad decision. And when he made that decision to shoot at the police, he brought his issue upon himself. We hate that, that it happened like this. It's a deeper issue that we need to address here in Shreveport for us, the culture, the society, the environment. You know, because what would drive a young man to do this in the first place? So we have to start asking those questions, but not only ask those questions. We really need to find solutions, and I believe the solution is the change of culture. Get rid of this music that the, our kids are listening to, the movies, the video games, because that boy had actually lived his life like he was in that movie Set It Off, like he was playing Grand Theft Auto. It's like he was living his life in a big video game. And it ended to the point where, in real life, you don't get a chance to hit the reset button. You see what I'm saying? You don't get extra lives in real life. And that boy played a game with his life today. He lost it. But again, let's not get that confused with Anthony Child. Y'all be blessed.